सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल्स और इस वीडियो में हम लोग बात करेंगे एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग का दो की वर्ड ट्राई एंड कैच इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू लाइक हाउ कैन यूज ट्राई कैच एंड वाट इज द यूज ऑफ इट वाट इज द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वे टू कम्बाइन द ट्राई एंड कैच एवरी थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो सिंपली वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग द लाइक वेन एवर यू सी लाइक सम स्टेटमेंट हैविंग ए एक्सेप्शन या यू जस्ट प्रिडिकेट इट लाइक ओके इन दिस सिचुएसन मे बी आई गट सम एक्सेप्शन वी हैव टू थिंक लाइक दैट लाइक यू हैव रिटर्न सम कोड एंड यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग लाइक मे बी इफ यूज आर गिवेन लाइक दैट वैल्यू देन आई एम गेटिंग द एक्सेप्शन सो डेट लाइन यू हैव टू पुट इन साइड द ट्राई ब्लॉक ओके सो हाउ यू कैन राइट द सिंटेक्स ऑफ द ट्राई कैच ब्लॉक सिंपल You can write try, okay, start and close. So whatever the statement you are feeling like, okay, in this statement might be I'm getting the exception. So you can put those line inside this, okay, in try block, and uh, then think about okay, uh, whatever the exceptions I got, uh, so I will put it inside this uh, try block. those statements i will put it inside the try block and uh, now i want to give some information to the users ki why you are getting this exception sound good so you can start say like catch inside the catch whatever the exception you might be think ki i got from this block you have to write for the corresponding parent class maybe parent or you can write the sim class maybe you thought here here you are getting the null pointer exception what is n u w l null null pointer exception okay it's just prediction i'm not saying maybe you got or not got so you can write here in catch block might be you are getting the null pointer exception so you can write here if you if you are confident and you are saying okay i will get only null pointer exception i will not get any other exception so you can handle this null pointer exception the catch block like null pointer exception n u l exception or you can provide some valid message here you can write here some valid message like why you are getting this exception sounds good so okay so but the problem is so many developers are confused here you know yaar i am getting some other exception here arithmetic exception i don't have a confidence like what type of exceptions i got here i don't know maybe i got null point exceptions maybe i got arithmetic exceptions maybe i got array index out of bound exceptions so you are not confident about it you are not sure about it so don't think too much just write here parent class the parent class is nothing but he is able to handle any type of the exception that is called exception why because you know the hierarchy of the parent and child parent is able to a store child class object parent is able to store child class object but child is not able to store parent class object so here having a some concept like that so whatever the exception is occurred here you want to handle it yeah you want to store those object like he given some exception it means he given some object and you want to store those object inside this so you can store the parent object or same object only two possibility okay so you can write here exception class if you are sure about it like i will get null point exception write here null point exception no issue if you not sure like what type of exception i got you can just write here exception i hope it's clear okay so first thing is right here 
like what is the situation like you have to think about like this statement at uh, this line this line will maybe give exception those line you have to put inside the try block and whatever the type of the exception he will throw you can handle with the exception you can write here okay and here you can write your message message is nothing but you can just print out s out s out or you can write here your given data data is not valid your given data is not valid because of that we are not going to proceed and you can tell him so that your client or user can understood why this problem is happening okay so like that you can use the try and catch block i will explain one more way okay for example if you think like okay i have some suspension in some line of the code so you have to put inside this try catch block try block and uh, if you sure about it like i will get this exception only then handle with this here okay if you are not sure you can write the parent class one more way we can write you can write one more catch how here before going to write a parent class catch you can write if you are not sure you can write one more catch block here and you can just say here null pointer exception null pointer exception why null pointer exception is a child of exception right so maybe if here you got in this line any of the line in the try catch try block if you got any exception which is null point exception just a zoom so it will come to this catch this catch will say okay i am null point exception so he will just store this object and he will print this message your given data is not valid but maybe the situation you are getting some automatic exception here and null point exception is not able to handle it then this catch will go he will say no i am not able to handle those type of the exception so it will go to the other catch and the other catch is a parent of automatic exception so he will easily handle those exception and he can initialize it so why i am teaching this one because uh, interviewer is asking like that only interviewer will ask you okay uh prince i am not sure about what type of the exception i am getting here so how can i handle it so i can handle it in the two way just putting that parent class here and you can handle it otherwise you can write the multiple try catch what you can write multiple try catch so in one try you can write multiple catch block no issue so i will write here multiple catch block here i will give automatic exception automatic exception and i can like uh, this is the child of this one is also child and this one is also child so this one is the parent those are the child so you can write like that i, I will not want to consider this one just consider these two things like null pointer exception is a child of exception so you have to go top to down top to down means child to parent for example you have a some task okay and you are able to handle it so for example null pointer is a child and he have a some task he is able to handle it so you are able to handle it so handle it now you don't want to inform your parent okay so if you are capable to handle it 
यू नो नीड टू इन्फॉर्म योर पेरेंट कि पापा आई हैव समथिंग इज सो एंड आई एम गेटिंग लाइक दैट बट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल इट यू कैन टॉक टू योर फादर्स बट इफ यू आर हैंडल इट हैंडल इट नो इज सो लाइक दैट यू कैन थिंक हेयर ऑल्सो एंड जस्ट से लाइक फर्स्ट ट्राई टू हैंडल विथ वॉट एवर द एक्सेप्शन विल अकर्ड इफ ही इज नॉट एबल टू हैंडल इट यू कैन टॉक टू योर फादर्स एंड फादर विल डेफिनेटली हैंडल इट ओके सो लाइक दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टूड एंड यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस सरार की चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट इफ यू आर राइटिंग द मल्टीपल कैच मेक स्योर दिस हेरार की विल बी दिस हेरार की विल बी फर्स्ट चाइल्ड देन दिज दोज पेरेंट फिर दोज पेरेंट दोज पेरेंट लाइक दैट इफ यू राइट एनी थिंग इज द मिस मैच देन इट विल गिव कंपाइल टाइम एज यू कॉन्ट राइट दिस एक्सेप्शन इन दैट प्लेस इफ यू राइट लाइक दैट दिस इज एक्सेप्शन एंड दिस इज नल पॉइंट एक्सेप्शन दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट इज रॉन्ग इफ यू राइट लाइक दैट दैट इज रॉन्ग because whatever the exception occurred here in tribe block he will handle it no need to go null point exception right so if parent is already handle it no need to write child child class exception then what is the use of this catch no use na so java is saying like don't write this like that this is unnecessary code it will not execute any time here so he will give compile time exception so every time you have to make sure and you have to write child then after parent only that is the good practice okay first child then after you have to write parent okay so i hope ki you understood what is the try and catch block i will go through the code and i will explain you in the depth way like how coding is working so let's go to the program for example here just focus in the main method i have a one statement called system dot out dot print ln and i have a some suspension like oh maybe i got here exception so what i will do i will do one things i will put this line of the code inside the try block that is the main things you have to do so first i will put this code inside that try block and corresponding i will write one catch block in catch block okay i will think okay maybe i got here automatic exception okay i just thinking like that i maybe i got some automatic exception so i will write here a r i t h m a t i c automatic exception a i will open it and i will print here something wrong some thing wrong divided something wrong divided so i have some suspension here like i am not sure about like what type of the exception i got so right now i am sure about it like i got automatic exception so i have written this line of the code okay right i will run it i got the proper answer something wrong in the divided it means that it's a null point exception is given the automatic exception only okay so he is able to handle it if i write here exception so parent is also able to handle it any type of the exception okay something is wrong so parent is also able to handle it right but the problem is maybe by the way you are writing some code here which is given the null pointer exception okay so i am writing some codes like exception demo exception demo demo equal to null and i am just calling the demo dot display method i have already display method below here so i am going to call this methods okay and uh, i will save this code and i have written this code maybe i got the exception so 
I have I'm not sure about it so I have written this inside this try case permit okay fine I will run this code so I'm getting the null pointer exception no one is handling it because this arithmetics exception does not have a power to handle the null pointer exception right but if I give here parent class exception he is able to handle it because he is the parent of the null point exception also got it so you can do here you can write here exception okay and also you can write here multiple exception for example previously we have written automatic exception display same thing and uh, after automatic exceptions I will write one more exception that is called exception so exception so what will happen this one is child of exception so first maybe here I got null point exception it will come to this catch this catch you will see automatic exception so automatic exception is not able to handle null point exception because those are not a automatic exception is not a parent of the null point exception right so because of that he will not handle but this exception is able to handle so if you write like that code it will not give any errors see this something wrong because this class is handle it because you retain the what child to parent hierarchy whatever you retain child to parent hierarchy but I am going to do one thing I will write here child simple I will write here child and I will remove here orthomatics above parent and below child above parent below child so I am able to see here error what is the error unreachable catch block of the automatic exception it is already handled by the catch block for the exception so parent is already able to handle any type of the exception so no need to write this code that is wrong okay so always interviewer will ask you can you we write parent to child hierarchy as a catch block say no if you tell can we write child to parent hierarchy then it's possible no is okay so this is the concept we need to understood and uh, we have to write for the try and catch block and that is very important okay so what, why you are writing the try and catch block because you are not sure about maybe you are getting some exception here and because of that we put this code inside the try block and you are providing some message to the user so that user can understood why this is something issue is happened because of that your whatever the code you have like whatever the operation you are trying to perform it will not perform something issue is happen okay so for that you can write the catch block and you can inform to the user and he will understood he will try some after some time Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.